It's another gorgeous day at a campsite not far from Opus HQ in Suffolk, and competition is heating up for our four contestants. Using only the cooking features available in the Opus, and with just 30 minutes to prep, cook and plate, our chagrin chefs will present their dish, and the others will score the meal. The winner gets bragging rights in the office, and the loser has to do the washing up. How will our brave bakers, batterers and basters fare under the canvas? Will they manage their mirepoix? Will their roux bring ooze or booze? From the Mobile Opa Studio, we invite you to come camp with me. Here's Tom, head of EU sales for Opus. He's got the deals, so we've provided the meal and the wheels. I'm a big fan of, um, big fan of cooking. Um, and we always talk about food in the office, so it'll be very good to see, you know, who's who can put their money where their mouth is, really. I am preparing spaghetti carbonara, um, which is loosely based on the Jamie Oliver recipe. I love Italian food to begin with, um, but it's more for ease. Um, this is something that I would cook when I'm camping. It makes it incredibly easy for families to do, and they can make a big batch. Um, and yeah, I think it fits the brief. A classic carbonara. Here's hoping we avoid the dreaded scramble. Right guys, this is my dish. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, what have we got? Ooh, very nice. Me, Jamie Oliver's spaghetti carbonara. Very nice. Oh, interesting. So is this yeah. the one with or without turkey twizzlers? This is the one without, okay. but the turkey twizzler version is a really, really good version. Yeah. This is going to be a very heavy meal, so I'm going to have a nap after this. <laughs> yeah, it's needed. Definitely. Carbs overload, here we go. Yeah. All right. All right, ready? Well, good luck. Thank you. Now that the pleasantries are out the way, let's make this pasta post haste. Half an hour time. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Only a touch of uh, olive oil because the pancetta, or traditionally guanciale, has a lot of fat in. Um, traditionally, there's no um, garlic in carbonara. Okay. However, I'm a big fan of garlic. Not a recipe for when the Draculas come to visit then. So that's just infusing the oil. So we've got Pecorino Romano here, which is traditionally used in Rome. Um, but you can use Parmesan or you can use a mixture of both and this is going absolutely everywhere. Ooh, steady on. Salt your water beforehand, not while the pasta's in. Oh, bloody hell. We do have a new Italian dealer. Hello, Joseph. So I'm sure he can put his input on this. And I'm sure what I'm uh, what I'm doing now is going to absolutely um, shock him to high heaven. But well, I'm attempting to do it the traditional way, um, and this pasta is going to take ages. By the way, is that on the highest heat? Was it even on? Assistance, foul play, <laughs> teamwork. Fork, 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 fork. I'm just concerned about getting it done on time because if you can't get carbonara done in 30 minutes, then you probably shouldn't do it at all. So you mix the Parmesan or Pecorino Romano in with your egg yolks to create a cream. Yes, and just check the pasta. Doing, Tom. Raw. raw. Get that lid back on, boy. Incredibly raw. Pancetta is going really nicely. It's getting crispy, which is good. Oil's infusing with the garlic. We're rocking and rolling. Now, it'll probably take me 20 minutes to uh, grind the pepper in here. Oh, we've got a boil on the pasta. We've got a boil. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Oh, lovely. 
Ta... Hey, hey. Mr. Skingle, none of that sass, please. The staff here at Opus are actually market leaders in sass. Yep. Let's see how that pasta's coming along, because... I think George Ezra's favourite pasta is something. Oh, I think he's a Tagliatelle man. Oh, that's good. Yeah? We're still not done, but... <laughs> Alright, I think we're nearly there. Let's transfer that outside. And that goes off. Oh, you're painting outside? I'll be mixing outside. I have to have some pasta water, because this is what thickens the sauce. Look at that concentration. No absent-minded tossing here. It's going everywhere. Look at TD down. It's done. And with plenty of time to spare, our pasta prince brings his carbonara in for a landing. Let's see what the gang have to say. So here, guys, here we have my take on Jamie Oliver's carbonara. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Amazing. It's been a pleasure watching you cook. Yeah, um, I don't want to do that again anytime soon. <laughs> well, I, I really want to have some more of mine, but um, it's gone a bit cold, so. Well done there, Sam. Showing off the microwave. Definitely not an afterthought. If you added peas and cream to it, it'd be more of a green dish carbonara. Oh, yeah. we should have done that. You should have done that. If my grandmother had wheels, she, she would have a bike. bike. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, very good. I think the bowls speak for themselves. Very good. Completely empty. To be fair, um, I would actually. It was delicious. Yeah. It was it was good. I, I'm I'm happy with it, but a bit salty. That's other than that, that other than that, fine. Yeah, but I mean, you cook something that's a reflection of you. It's wholesome, warm, and slightly salty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't agree more than that, really. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Another contestant down. I wonder where the scores will land. Yeah, very good. Uh, I think that he did he did it justice. I think it was a little bit too salty, um, but really nice flavour. I thought it was really good. I thought it was slightly too salty for me, um, but I don't necessarily use a lot of salt in my cooking at home. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Really nice crispy pancetta. Um, yeah, really nice homely cooked dish. You could taste the intensity of Tom's cooking technique in the meal. Um, it was incredibly rich, a little over salted perhaps, but it also was one of those pastas that you come away from afterwards and you feel really warm and fuzzy inside. It's proper, proper warmed you up. So for me, it was a real impressive one um, and that gets an eight. For Tom, it's a nine. It was very good, can't fault it really. It's all come down to one final score. Who will be the winner? Oh, here we here go. Here we are, people. Here We've we got... are. So I have the results here. Are we ready? We are. We're ready. We're ready, we're ready. Okay, so in joint third, Sam and Brett. Ooh. In second, just giving some suspense time, Toby Whitmore. And that means oh in first God. place, <laughs> the spaghetti carbonara. Are you serious? <laughs> well, that is, a, that is a massive surprise, so thank there you very much. Go. And as we all know, wow. it wouldn't be come dine with me without an outburst. Don't be silly. We've all got to work with each other in the morning, so it's handshakes all round. With Tom's Carbonara declared the winner and the losers lathering up in the sink, that brings a close to season one of Come Camp With Me, presented by Opus. Thank you for watching and happy camping.